I would like to welcome everybody on this webinar. I'm Josef from the Open Room Support Team, and I will be today's speaker for this webinar. Today, I will be talking about our cloud solutions for license monitoring and other management features we offer. Five modules I will be talking about are software license management on the cloud, directory synchronization service, one directory synchronization service, dongle monitoring, and virtual license manager. So let's talk why to go for the OpenLM on the cloud. The biggest advantage of our cloud solution is that you don't need additional hardware to host OpenLM software. OpenLM software is maintained by our team. All upgrades and bug fixes are applied automatically and the configurations are easily done through the web interface. You can access the interface from the, any computer connected to the internet. First, and main product I want to present to you is our SLM on cloud. This tool will give you a better overview and control over your license inventory. SLM cloud is a real-time monitoring system for the engineering software licenses. It is also designed to ease life for the managers who are responsible for license management and bring order at the first glance unclear data from the licensing software. But not only that, it can help you to achieve cost savings by better understanding your license inventory and at the same time, stay compliant with the vendor rules and regulations. Mind page of SLM contains widget, which will provide you with the overview about your license servers. In this widget, you can see basic informations like status of your license server, general information like host name and port. You can see live usage data, basically who is using license right now. In addition, you can see seed counts for your features and also utilization of your servers. There is the option to do basic license manager operations without accessing the license server itself, like uploading new license files, restarting license managers, downloading option files, etc. One of the functionalities in the SLM are historical reports. OpenLM reports can offer you to look at the history data in the many different forms and graphs. For example, license usage report, where you can see your data aggregated by hours or days. It also contains heat maps, where you can see your license utilization clearly during working hours. You can see your peak times and times when the license are not utilized that much. From this report, uh, from this report you can get information about your license inventory. If you have enough licenses, or on the other hand, if you are missing some. We have activity report where you can see sessions that were finished. Review them one by one or group them by the specific parameter if needed. For example, by user, by feature, server, and etc. You can have better understanding what was total usage in the specific area. For every report, we have we have an advanced filtering system where you can define almost every aspect from the server to specific feature or user in the specific time frame, and so on. You can save your filters for every report and open them later if needed. There is also an option to download all reports in CSV format and send them to specific mail. In next report which is license utilization, we will see potential for savings. In this report, SLM will create predictions based on your historical data. You can use these informations during your renewal period and potentially save some money. There is prediction, these predictions are more accurate the longer you use SLM for monitoring. We also offering you to tool which can show you all the licenses that were never used by the, any engineers. Sometimes, it can happen that companies are paying for the something they don't use, especially in the bigger companies. These two features alone can save you some money. So, so SLM can offer you much more. I will mention few functionalities here, but we will surely deep dive into these functionalities in the future webinars. All reports we have in the SLM can be scheduled and sent to email address on the regular basis. This way, you can automate your overview over the licenses without, without accessing cloud interface. You can also set up various alerts where you can get email notifications like, like license expiration date, 
maybe you want to know when your utilization of the servers are reaching high, high numbers, so you can set up a lab for that. Maybe you need to send email to IT when some license server is down or not responding and much more. You can define your group in SLM or synchronize them with your active directory. We will talk about this in the next slide. When you have groups defined in the SLM, you can apply filters in the reports to see usage data specific for these groups. Or you can use a dedicated report called group usage. This is an option to set up project-wise usage in SLM. You can utilize a small component called workstation agent, which need to be installed on the engineer's workstation. This will allow engineers to pick project on which they are working. All the usage will be tied to this project. This is good if companies want to know how much resources were spent on the specific project, or if they are do doing back chart according to usage. We have a tool called Option File Management, which, which can help you manage your option files from SLM interface without accessing your license server and editing files manually. We, we, are able to, we are also able to track idle time applications. This feature also needs workstation agent. Workstation agents reporting to SLM, and you can see if the application was actively used or just running in the background. This way, you will get actual, actual usage, which means the time when the engineer software was, engineering software was actively used. Based on the idle time, information provided by workstation agent, SLM can automatically harvest the idle sessions. SLM is able to close applications and then return license to the pool. We have three hard extension options. First option is save and close. It is for MATLAB, AutoCAD, ArcGIS, ArcGIS Pro, SolidWorks, and CATIA. This option will save the work and close the application. Next thing is suspend and resume option for the all flex LM. This option will suspend the application and release the license. When the engineer comes back, they can resume the work if the license is available. And the last option is simple kill the applications for every other software. This option will not save anything. This was the introduction to our first module, which can help your company optimize your license inventory and stretch the license to the limit. So next module I will be talking about is our directory synchronization service. This service will give you more depth to reports in the SLM by, by synchronizing your active directory with SLM database. You can have all informations like department, country, groups from your active directory in the SLM database. You can use the data for, the, uh, for specifying your reports and have better overview, especially in the bigger companies. This is also good for the companies which are doing big charge based, or big charge based on the usage for the specific department and so on. In the nutshell, directory synchronization is perfect tool to get your reports to under level and have all, have all information from the Active Directory in the monitoring tool. Next module is One Directory Synchronization, also called ODS. It is a central hub that connects organizations, cloud applications, and digital workspace resources to cloud-based synchronization service. To do that, ODS, ODS receive data from the, one, from the Directory Synchronization service and then compare the data in the connected cloud applications or connected company resources. This way, ODS can compare these directories with one main active directory. So when the user account is removed from the primary directory, ODS read the change and the send, in, send this further to all connected cloud applications where, where in the response, this user will be deleted. There is also the options to send email to IT or whoever is responsible for the offboarding to remind them that the user need to be removed from the directories. This way, you can simplify offboarding in the company and eliminate security hazards. Our recently developed module is Dongle Monitoring. This module can help you with informations how Dongle are used in your company. It is utilizing small program called Workstation Agent and installed on the engineer's computer. 
You can see information about who is using your dongles, the time when they were used, and in which machines they were connected. These informations can be also seen in the real time. We have filtering options in this module, so you can drill down for the specific dongle, manufacturer, host name of the machine or user. You can combine this filter to pinpoint usage. You can also define your vendors for these dongles to get more information. Simply, this model will help you track your movement of your dongles in the company environment. The last module I will talking about is Virtual License Manager, in short, VLM. For now, this module is only working with the FlexNet embedded. So how the VLM works? VL in, with VLM, you can create a virtual allocation layer that is different from your physical layer. It can combine multiple physical layers into one big pool or even cut them to multiple small. Depends on your needs. Then you can use an easy to navigate web interface to allocate license dynamically in real time according to department group or team's needs. You can define manager for these layers and they, they can decide to grant or revoke licenses in their, manager, in, in their managed layer. VRL, VLM can help centralize your license allocation and, and help IT managers to manage many end users from various departments across the globe. Virtual license manager allows IT managers to segment the organization license portfolio into the many license pools as needed. This was the short introduction to our cloud environment. If you have any questions, please go ahead and I will be answering them shortly. Thank you for joining and listening my presentation.